Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Oh, we've got a fun one for you today. Uh, a couple of videos ago, we did this little scroll effect thing with the planet there coming in, and we got a little spaceship rolling across the screen there. And the actual rocks down the bottom are sort of zooming in a little bit to give it that more of a parallax effect. But oh, somebody said, can we have the planet spinning? And yeah, you can. You can do it with a scroll effect. I've actually done an animation down below. I mean, this is quite effective, this one. There's no coding involved in this. But if I go down below, I've got another little parallax section coming in with a planet there. If I stop it, you'll notice that that planet's actually revolving. And that's a really nice little effect. And I've just thrown a little blurb module and button on the top of it. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Okay, once enabled, let's go down. There's our original one. Here's our new one. Let's delete this and we'll start from scratch. Okay, I'm going to be using two images to do this today. I've got a basic background image there with a space and a few planets in it. I've also got a planet cut out with a transparent background there. So let's add a new section. I'll add it where I had that last one. I'm going to make it a sec regular section. I'm going to add a single row. Or should say a row with a single column. Inside it, I'm going to start off with my image, which will be the planet. So I'm going to select an image module, click on the field. There's my little planet right there. Select it and pop it in. Now this will work with pretty much any image you want. But I find round ones are going to work better for this sort of thing. I want to pop that in the middle. So I'm going to go over to design alignment. I'm going to pop it in the middle there. When you hover over it, it comes up with the name of it. If you want to keep that there, that's fine. If you want to get rid of that and don't want that to pop up or change it, go over to your advanced, go down to the attributes, and there it is. It's the image title. If you want nothing, then just delete it or change it if you want it to say something else. I'm going to delete mine. That way it's just going to stay there like that while we put our mouse on it. Fantastic. Great. Well, let's put the background in for our section here. Blue tab for the section. Let's go down to background. Background's always under content here. Now we've got color, gradient, background image, background video, background pattern or background mask. I'm going to use a simple image. You can actually combine several of these. We've done plenty of videos on that before. I'm going to hit the little plus to add an image. There's my little spacey type background. I'm going to pop that in there. That's great. I'm actually going to use the parallax on mine today. And there's two different versions. If I switch it on, we've got a true parallax, which I'm going to use today. If I roll this up and down there, you can see that background image is actually moving at a slightly different rate than our foreground image. Gives it that nice bit of 3D type movement there. We've also got CSS parallax. That's also known as a fixed background. Now that background image it's not going to move at all, but the planet's going to move. Well, that's really dramatic too. But for this today, I'm going to flip it back to true parallax. So I really like the planets just moving at slightly different rates there. That works for me. Okay, well, I'm going to add my little blurb module and call to action over the top of my planet here. So to do that, I'm going to add a new row, little green button to add a new row. Again, I'm going to use a single column. Roll that down a little bit so you can see what's going on in my column. For this, I'm going to use a little blurb so we can use a little icon at the top. Let's roll that back up there. There it is right there. Uh, I really don't want it to say much underneath. Your content goes here. We'll do fine. I'm going to use an icon rather than the image. So I'm going to roll down to the icon and image there. I'm going to switch to the little button. And uh, what if we say planet? Yeah, that's the one I had before. 
If I turn all this all white, you'll be able to see it a lot better. So let's go over to my design here. Just going to go where it says text and that'll do everything at once. I'm going to flip it from dark to light. I'm also going to pop everything in the middle. I want my title there to be a lot bigger, I think. So if you roll over it, hit the little paintbrush beside it. It'll take you straight to it. So I'm going to make that a lot bigger. And let's perhaps make it semi-bold. Fantastic. Always you adjust yours how you need it. And my little icon, I want to take that down a bit in size. Again, you can just click on the paintbrush. It'll take you straight to the design settings for it. Otherwise, it's under design and image and icon there. Icon colors fine. Width. I'm going to take mine down to about 50 pips, I think. Yeah, that's going to work fine for me. And we want to slide that over up over the top of here in a moment. But before I do that, I want to add a little button down below it as well for a call to action. So let's hit the little plus. We'll add a new module. I'm going to hit a button. Design wise, I'm going to pop it in the middle so it's right underneath again. But I want to style that button to be my own a little bit more. I want it to sort of be a little bit see through with a white border. So you can go down to the button, you can style it any way you like. Mine's on my default purple and blue there, with how I've got it set in my default settings. Customize it, hit the little switch to on. Let's see, I want to give it a, a black background. So I'm going to go down to button background. I want to take the opacity down. So I can see part of the image through it. You can't see much going on there because there's not much behind it. And for the hover color, this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover the, over the dark writing, see some little icons appear. If there's a little arrow, we can have a completely different value for when we put the mouse on it. Well, we put the mouse on it. Let's perhaps make it purple. And again, i take it down again opacity and when I put it over the planet you'll be able to see a bit of that planet through there great just want to give it a little border I'm going to flip it back to desktop style got border down below you can give it a color I'm going to give it a one pixel little white border just like that great well I save that that's looking fine to me but I want all of this up over the top or right in the middle, really, of our planet here. Then we're going to make that planet revolve or rotate. So, easiest way is to use a bit of absolute positioning on our row. Go into the row, the green tab. Go in there. Let's roll that down just a little bit so you can see what's going on. I'm going to go over to Advanced and Position. I'm going to use Absolute means we can move it around anywhere within its parent container which is our section I put it at absolute looks like it's disappeared but it hasn't it's right on the top left there I want mine to be dead central so I'm going to hit the little button in the center there now it's disappeared so it's probably behind our little planet there which means we need to adjust the z-index z-index dictates how elements display, a higher number will always display in front of a lower number Z index. So if I pull the Z index up, it should pop in front. And there it is right there. Great. It's in front, just exactly where we want it. Well, let's make that planet rotate now. And it's very easy indeed. I'm going to go back into my little planet module here, which is an image module. Or my image of the planet. I'm going to go over to the advanced. I'm going to go down to custom CSS. Now Divi now has the ability to write complex CSS within this tab, this new freeform CSS tab here. So I can write some code. I've already written it for you. I'm just going to copy it and I'll put this code down below for anybody who wants to copy and paste it. You can also generate code here with AI, which is absolutely free, and I'll be doing a video on that shortly. Okay, I've got a class name here called Universe. I'm going to have it animation. I'm going to have it rotate 
360 degrees, that's what I've called it rotate 360. It's going to take 300 seconds to go around if you want to speed it up, make it a lower value. If you want to slow it down, make it a higher value. It's going to do it in a linear fashion, so it's not going to stagger. Then it's going to keep doing it and doing it. There's the keyframes we're building it with. It's going to start off at regular way around and end up 360 degrees. So it's basically going to rotate all the way around. But you may have noticed that it's not doing anything. Well, we haven't given it this class name and you can give this class name to anything else on your page here and it'll make it rotate so let's copy the class name without the dot there just the universe control c and we're still in the advanced i'm going to shut down the custom css just above it you'll find css ids in classes we're still in our image remember and i'm going to give it that class name Boom. as soon as i do that you can see it rotating there Like I say, if you want to adjust the timing of it, I've got mine 300 seconds. If I make that 50 seconds, it'll be going a lot faster. That's a little too quick for me. I'm going to take mine back to my 300, but you can adjust it however you want to there. 300. Fantastic. Great. So if you've done everything correctly, this should now work for us. Let's make sure it's going to work on the front end. I'm going to save my changes here. We'll hit the little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. We'll roll on down past our little spaceship one there. And here's our new one. We've got a little parallax section there as you can see the planets moving at different rates. And if I stop right there, our little planets rotating. And that's a great little eye catching feature. And it'll work just as well on tablet and mobile also they can go on there they can click the button they can read the little blurb module yeah then they can move on wherever they want to move let's just take a look at that on tablet and mobile let's get my responsive elements up here we are on an ipad air as you can see it's parallax we've got everything going on there you can make it a bit bigger so you can see that's on an iPad Air. Let's have a look on an iPhone. And there we are on a little iPhone there. And again, if I make it a bit bigger, it might be easier for you to see what it's doing there. That's 150%. And we got our little blurb module, call to action button, and our little planets rotating there. So there you go, guys. There is how to make that little rotating planet. And of course, if you wanted to add your scroll effects with your UFO coming across, etc. And your background zooming in like we did for our one above here. You can add that to it as well. So I hope you enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget that code's down below the video. And if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.